Hi, I'm Sabine Schoenberg here to talk a little bit more about the latest in smart, healthy, and green news. With me is Christopher Mose, my producer, and we have a few other items we would love to bring to you today. Starting up today, we have an interesting story around a new merger that happened with a company over in Europe, and they are exploring advancing audio-enabled smart home technology. We're familiar with Apple Siri, Google Alexa, and Amazon has the Echo. Right. They're kind of touchy, but this is an interesting innovation that we've looked into. I think this is very early stage, first of all. Definitely. Um, um, the Echo has been a huge success, clearly. So we are going into the direction of audio controls for all of our system, all of our smart stuff, basically. So this takes it a step further so that, let's say, the baby cries, the smart device now recognizes, oh, there comes the lullaby to soothe the baby. So that, you know, it becomes more and more... Anticipatory yeah. around what the homeowner might need. The other example that they gave was around a potential break-in situation. So the house hears glass breaking, it automatically it knows that you're gone, so it starts to mimic somebody being home, including maybe playing a pre-recorded conversation so that a burglar goes, oh, wait, somebody's home, mm -hmm. maybe take a second guess. It's a cool idea, but I think it's a little early, and I certainly would want to have my whole uh, security system in place, we, maybe with some other controls just to make sure that there is actually the final stop to a burglary. Right. So we'll be <laughs> keeping a close eye on this as it evolves, but it's definitely interesting to see where this might be going. Next up, we have an interesting story coming out of the Netherlands. An off-grid eco-village is in development. There's 1,200 people that are on the waiting list for this village that's going to be completed, at least the initial stage, by the end of 2017. So the waiting list is the key here. I mean, that tells you how much interest and demand there really is. People are waiting to get on there and put their hard-earned dollars down to be part of this effort. The Netherlands is clearly very eco-minded. People don't drive cars, they go by bike. You know, there's a certain mentality there already, but it will be very interesting. In fact, next time I'm in the Netherlands, I will go there and I will come back with a report on the whole village. And when it comes to affordability, the interesting thing is that a home within this village is only about 250,000 US dollars. This is completely feasible. Yeah, and uh, real estate is just as expensive in Europe as it is here. So. Lots to check out. I'm very curious to see this up front and in person. So the next story that we looked at recently was five fee-free smart home security solutions. So there's a lot of stuff coming on the market. There's devices and systems that are relatively expensive. And then there's some of these DIY check it out things. Yeah, the good news in general, all the costs on these devices are coming down. Cameras are the perfect example. They used to be super expensive, especially if you want good quality night vision cameras. Boy, shell out a few thousand dollars. All of that is coming down, way down. And they're getting smaller and more attractive looking. So, a lot of good news there. Uh, the other part that I really like is gone are the days that you have to sign a contract, a multi-year contract for a security system. So if you are in a rental situation or you're not quite ready to dive into one of these bigger systems, these are five elements that you can dive into today yep. and just kind of test out a little bit. So the first one is the Birdie. It's a <laughs> smoke, carbon monoxide, and air quality monitor. It's really combining those three elements into one very sleek and attractive unit. Yeah, it has sort of the Apple styling, I would say. A really nice, simple disc, uh, beautiful to look at, very unobtrusive. Wouldn't bother me one bit to have this thing on the wall. And it does a lot of things. It does all the testing on multiple chemical um, situations in your house. So I think this is really worth, very worthwhile. Not that expensive. What, $160 yeah, per it's unit? Yeah, all of these items are under a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. So it's, it's something that you can purchase and 
tinker with and really kind of dive into. It's called Birdie. So next up, we have the Presence Security App-Enabled Home Monitoring. Tell me so about it. This is an interesting, it's a centralized hub. It really connects with various different things. So Presence has several different items. The next one that we're actually talking about is their motion detector with the camera. So it's really bringing various different devices in, but it's an interesting app that you can purchase and really control a lot of these monitoring devices in your home. So the third item is Smanos. So Smanos has Wi-Fi security cameras, door and window sensors. So if you have a couple windows and a door, their entry package may be an option to consider. Maybe. Um, I do caution people and I always say, do count the number of doors and windows you really want to equip with these devices. You'll probably be surprised. It's a little more than you generally think. And if you do put in a system, you obviously want to do it everywhere. It doesn't pay to just have one door equipped with a monitoring device. So with that cautionary note, I think it's a really smart thing. I particularly like the camera. And again, it's a good example of how small and high quality these cameras really are. Today. Excellent. So fourth is Canary. So it's a motion detected camera. It also monitors air quality, temperature, and humidity. So, you mean it's the canary in my mind? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's an interesting, it just sits, it's sleek, it sits on your desk, and you can sit on a desk, on a shelf, kind of, in. A, they show it oftentimes in and among some books. So it's really non-obtrusive, but it gives you an opportunity to kind of scope out what might be happening in your house, what your pet might be doing when yeah. you're away. Yeah, that's a good thing. Um, it looks a little sleeker than I suspect it will look because what's not there is the cord to right. actually plug it in. So if you can hide the cord, you'll get the visual, but I think that's always the one thing that is a little bit more of a question mark in terms of the marketing pictures anyway. But right. it's a good thing. It looks really, really handsome sitting Excellent. on that shelf. So our fifth item is the August Smart Lock. We've been playing around with these Smart Locks for a while. They're great for standard conventional doors. One of the things that we're hoping that they'll upgrade eventually to is being able to support multi-point locking doors. Yeah. So the August lock, smart lock, was really one of, was the first one, really. A whole industry has sprung up since. Beautifully designed, no surprise that the designers came out of the Apple world originally. It's just a round disc, does a lot of things, now has also the camera built in, and uh, you can have it either way. Um, the one letdown really is if you have a new house, you probably will have some French doors with multi-lock systems. And that means basically you don't just lock at one point, but you will have it along the entire face of the door. And that's a really important safety feature. It, it makes breaking any door down that much harder. Most doors, if you buy a quality door, will have them. So the fact that you can't have a smart lock is a little bit of a disappointment. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more Smart and Healthy Green news. If you haven't seen our recent project, The Greenwich House, definitely take a look at that. Beginning to end, we give you a whole look at the innovations and what went into this house. You can find out more information on what we talked about today at sabinekinghouse.com.